tell them, say, may they go fix their country. Because I think this is the only way Nigerians can fix their country. If other people stop to the give us visa, if other people stop to the, to the welcome us in their country, then we will come back and fix our country for other people to come to our country. I saw a video of a Nigerian guy saying that uh, Africa's main problem is our, our, our leaders, all leaders except a few, yeah? All of them are corrupt, especially, uh, except a few. And those are people that we need to fight against. Those are people that we need to fight hard so that we can eliminate them, that, so that we can get them out of those positions, those particular positions that, that they are in. Because they are people who are messing our continent. Yeah. And before I even talk much, I want you people to watch this then uh, let me know what you think about our African um, leaders, the governance in Africa. Let me know on the comment section. Yeah, And remember, if you've not subscribed, don't forget, uh, don't forget to do so before you leave. Yeah? My dear African people, yo, I have a message for you guys. Every young person in Africa, listen to me. Listen to me. Let us come together. Let us come together and fight our common enemy. The common enemy of African progress are the African politicians. All of them, all of them are collectively together in corruption in Africa. I don't care the country you, you are coming from, you are still in the third world country. Listen to me. The earlier we come and join hand together and fight our common enemy, the better it becomes for everybody else. Listen. Let us declare war on African politicians, both home and abroad. Those of us where they overseas, we go handle the ones we they see overseas. And those ones where they at home, handle the ones where they at home. Let's declare war on African politicians because this is the only way things can get better in Africa. All right, this is what I've been fighting for, what I've been waiting for for a long time now. I saw hashtag end bad governance 2024 and it's not a joke. A notion why protest is coming. This one is not about your religion. Forget that your religion. Christian, Muslim, everybody is coming out. This is not about your region. This is not about your area. This is not about your tribe. If you are Hausa, you are Yoruba, anybody. Everybody is coming to fight against the same thing. This protest is organized by a lot of people in all the 36 states in Nigeria. And this is what I've been waiting for a long time. The last time we did protest in this country, something happened in Lekki. Our people were shot dead. This time around, I will suggest our security agencies to respect themselves because it's not going to be like before. You people have shot us before. You people are not going to do it again. It's not going to be like that before. It's not going to be like that before. Me, I'm coming out. Are they come? Share this video. Use hashtag EndBadGovernance2024 or you make your own video or you just post anything. You can just take, the stick, take a screenshot of this picture here now. You take it. You make your own post. Post hashtag and back governance 2024 let, let us create this awareness so that everybody will come out let's have this shit let's feed this shit one and once for all our security agencies you people should just day your day because the same thing is affecting all of you everybody's crying in this country you people are not fine yes you signed obey the last order but this time around you have to stay in your shell please because it's not going to be funny hashtag and bad governance 2024 fellow nigerians this protest is for bad leaders and bad governments we want them to step down. We don't want anything from them. We don't want to hear from them. Let them step down. We want a better Nigeria. We want a better country. So let them step down. As from today, Kenya is mine. It's mine. My giant of Africa. If you ask me who is the giant of Africa, I will say Kenya people are the giant of Africa. I don't care what your dictionary is telling you. I don't care what your what your Google is telling you. I don't give a I'm a Nigerian. But right now, Kenya has won my heart. Yes, they have won it 100%. I support them. I salute them. They have done impossible. They have done something that everyone else is afraid to do. They have the heart of a lion. They are the real son of the soil. Yes, respect to them. Yes, yes, I like as if they play like this now. At, at least now, the government of Kenya now, we know that, yes, the power really belongs to the people. Yes, Nigeria is over 250 million people. And, and, and the only, only hundred people, when they reach 500, they, they drive Nigeria like, 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 like moto. They, they drive us like moto. 
If the drivers go left, we go left. If the drivers go right, we go right. If the drivers go middle, we stay for middle. If they just they control us like 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 remote, just few people. Can't see how Kenya people they do. Can't see how people where want their country to move forward. See as they, they do. Tomorrow now Nigerians go wrong, go Kenya, go they look for better life. Go they look for job. And that job go kill you. Now that better life go kill you. Deport them. Any Nigeria where you see for Kenya, deport them. As you they deport them, panic beat them. Tell them say may they go fix their country. Because I think this is the only way Nigerians can fix their country. If other people stop to they give us visa, if other people stop to they to the welcome us in their country, then we will come back and fix our country for other people to come to our country. Yes, they no forbid us make other people that come to Nigeria come look for better life. They no forbid us. We have everything it takes in Nigeria to be a greater nation. What the hell is going on? Why are we not a greater nation? Why? It's so sad how our leaders, our African leaders are to an extent where we have to elect very old leaders just because they don't want to get out of uh, their, their position. Just, just look at how old Nigerian president is. That guy is seven is 87 years. He should be at home resting and not running up and down just because he still want to, 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 to be a president. He still want to be in politics. I, th I feel like there should be a, a, an age limit to where one can be a president because at 87, what is this guy telling his people? He should be at home playing with his grandchildren or great great grandkids he shouldn't be running like um, uh, 30 year old or 40 year old people he already has whatever that he wanted to have in life what more achievement does he want an 87 year old guy you deny youths a chance to lead you deny young people a chance to, 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 to fight for, for, for their future just because you don't want to get out of that seat. Tell me why. And Africans, why do we have to be this foolish? Because it's us who elect these people. If we have a, we have a voice and we, have, uh, uh, we can always say no to this foolishness, I don't see why we should elect old people when we have young people who can do the very same uh, job better than these uh, old people. The same problem that Nigeria is experiencing today, the bad governance, we see it in every country in Africa. And it's because our leaders, it's like they meet somewhere and they, they, they tell each other, let's be uh, corrupt. Majority of African leaders are corrupt very few few of them are not corrupt and it's not easy to point out which is uh corrupt and which one is not corrupt it's not easy because majority of them are corrupt majority of them are just there to steal and loot from their people and us as people as citizens we are just foolish because we end up electing the very same corrupt leaders who promises not, they promise us a lot and deliver nothing. Look at Uganda. These people don't even have freedom of speech. They can't go out there and say no because they're being led by a dictator. Someone who doesn't want to get out of that position that he's, he's in. Yeah? If at all he retires, he already has someone who's going to inherit that position. Why? Because African leaders are corrupt are just there to loot and loot. People don't have, people have a voice, yes, but people can't use it to say no to this kind of dictatorship that we see in Africa. And these people who mislead our leaders, when you go to their countries, these people follow the law. They follow the rule. Even when they go for elections and they lose, they always concede. They never take power by force, like our leaders do. But look at Africa. Everyone wants to be in power and they want to be in power by force. My mother was from Uganda. She came to Kenya when she was still a teenager. And she came to Kenya because she was running away from Uganda because of bad governance. And I ask myself, 
for how long will African people keep suffering? Will African people keep running away from their own country because of bad governance? For how long will we keep on going to seek for refuge, going to look for work in foreign countries just because our countries, our continent cannot offer the same? Patrick Lumumba once said, a good dancer knows when to leave the stage. Look at Nigeria. That president is still dancing. He, he doesn't know it's already time. His time is up. He should leave for the young people to rule. He should, let, he should allow young people to lead, but he doesn't, he doesn't want. Why? Because he feels like power is everything. That is where he gets his money. He already have whatever that he wanted in life, but he still wants to dance. Why? And we still elect such kind of people. If we all came together and fight against them, we would win. But we don't we want to be quiet. And when we talk, some of us are silenced. Why? We need to say no to this kind of leadership. Guys, as usual, let me know on the comment section. What do you think about this particular topic? Yeah, and uh, until next time.